Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Question. How do I update a dynamic domain in IBM Operational Decision Manager, Rule Designer and Decision Center? In a previous video, you learned how to create dynamic domains in Rule Designer. This video shows you how to update a dynamic domain in Rural Designer and Decision Center. You will see how the dynamic domains feature helps the rural developer prevent errors, frees the business users to extend valid parameters for rules, and eliminates the need for changes to rural service contract. Open the domain's provider Excel file to add new values. Back to Rule Designer, update the domains that are defined in the Boom Entry Language Type class. Click Synchronize. The new language types are added to the members list. Now, update the Greetings Decision Table. Generate a new test scenario template to test a new language. Open the template and add the new test language scenario. Update the test configuration and run the DVS test. Check the report. The new language scenario passed the test. The decision service is ready to be published to Decision Center. Enter the Decision Center connection information. If the connection is established, go to Next. There should be no change if the decision service is publishing for the first time. Launch Decision Center Enterprise Console. Choose to work on Hello Service main branch. On the Explore page, click the Create Smart Folder icon to create a resources folder. For the query, change to All Resources for Search. The resource files that you see in Rule Designer are loaded. Download the domain's Excel file. Add another new language value. Back to Enterprise Console, edit the domain's Excel file. Click Browse to upload the latest file. Once the file is uploaded, click Finish. Go to the project page to update the dynamic domains. The new language type is updated in the list. Add the new language greeting in the decision table. You can immediately use the new value in rule authoring. The new value is listed in the language type selection. In Decision Center Business Console, you can also use the updated domain values and run test. On the Project Tests page, click the Generate Scenario File icon to download the template. Select the Response field for the expected result. Click Download to save the template. Open the template and enter the test scenarios. To define a test suite, click the green plus sign. Upload the test scenario file. Save and run the test. When the status shows finished, the report link is available. The test scenarios are passed. In this video, 
you learned how to update dynamic domains in Rural Designer and in Decision Center consoles. To get the Hello Service Source project, visit Operational Decision Manager Education Assistant on IBM Knowledge Center. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.